Did you know that from 1900 to 1913, the federal government had a very manageable debt into the millions of dollars? But in 1913, something happened. Four things were set up in the year 1913. First, the Federal Reserve Bank, the IRS, the FBI, and the Anti-Defamation League of B'nai B'rith, all were set up in the same year. Is that a coincidence? Or is there a tie-in? I don't have time to go into all the details. But by the help of Allah, I'll do that in further writings if it is the will of Allah. But it's enough to say that two German Jews, Paul and Felix Warburg, and the International Bankers of Europe, wined and dined a senator named Nelson Aldrich, who was the maternal grandfather of Nelson Aldrich Rockefeller. And they wined and dined him for two years, showing him the, the, the central banks of Europe. Senator Aldrich came back to America and was given the job of being a part of the national a study of the national monetary system. Nelson Aldrich with Paul Warburg had a secret meeting in Jekyll Island, Georgia, off the coast of Georgia. And in that secret meeting, what came out of it was the basis of the Federal Reserve Act. They tried to get it through Congress under the name the Aldrich Federal Reserve Act. But since Aldrich was so tied to the international banking system, the members of Congress under the leadership of President Taft, you know, they voted it out. So they went back to the drawing board and they redid it. And they pushed it through on December the 22nd, 1913, just as Congress was about to break for the Christmas recess. Wanting to get home quick, they pushed it through. And the Federal Reserve Act became law. But in 1912, there was a great presidential election where William Taft was challenged in his own party by Teddy Roosevelt. Both uh, 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 Roosevelt was financed by some of these international bankers. They hated Taft for his derailing of the Aldrich Federal Reserve Act. So they wanted to get at Taft. But they felt that a Republican shouldn't bring this act before Congress. It would be better if it came through a Democrat. So they, they same bankers put money behind Woodrow Wilson. And Woodrow Wilson sold the American presidency to the international bankers. He was elected in 1912, and in 1913, the Federal Reserve Act became law, and the Central Bank of the United States was taken over by a group of private banking institutions. Then somebody else began printing the money. Like Rothschild said, he don't care who rules as long as he controls the purse strings. In 1913, America was not yet at war. In the last 
winter solstice of the 6,000 year rule of the enemy. America was betrayed by one of her presidents and one of her senators and one of her uh, members of the United States Treasury. Do you know why I'm teaching this subject on Jesus saves? Because after I say what I'm saying today, if I ain't got a savior, I'm sure going to need one after I say what I say today. Let me just finish. Don't be frightened for me. You better be frightened for yourself. Because some stuff is going down in America right now as we speak. That all our lives are in danger right now. And I've got to sound the alarm, brothers and sisters. I don't care nothing about my life. It's your life that I want to save. Listen. Now that the bank that prints money is in the hands of private interests, the idea is to push up and inspire the government to borrow. How do you do it? Get America into war. The war in Europe started in 1914. And by 1917, under a lie about the Lusitania being sunk by German subs, the American people were called into a war to end all wars. <laughs> Boy, this is heavy, man. I mean, you, you can't believe how wicked, how low down and rotten. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't believe how wicked these people are to play games with your lives and the lives of your babies create a war just to get more money to charge more interest and send your babies to die for a bullshit Excuse me, but bullshit is the dropping of a cow or a bull. It's BS, it's lies, it's deceit. And the American people went to war in 1917. And black people sued to become a part of the war. Because we didn't want to be left out of America. So America signed us up to fight the war. And black men died, but they don't know what the hell they were dying for. And neither did the white ones know what they were dying for. But the man of sin got to be revealed. And I thank God that he put it in my heart. I don't have no fear of those bastards. I want to expose them all. God 
is present. God is in the world. And I'm going to prove to you by my life that God has power to save. Don't worry about me. You better worry about yourself. Excuse my language, but they are bastards. They're illegitimate children of God. When America started borrowing money, they had to have a way to pay it back. And that's how they thought of the IRS. Then they started taking income tax. But by that time, the Rockefellers and the Carnegies had their money in trust funds and they had found a way to get around paying taxes. But the taxes were for the poor and the middle class. It was a gradual income tax that was to keep on escalating. And in the same year, the FBI was established. You think the FBI is out here to fight crime? The FBI have done some of the most wicked criminal things in this country against the citizens of America. Who are you, Farrakhan? That you take on the unseen powers of the world to expose them to the light of day. Who are you? I say I'm your brother. I'm a servant of these two mighty men. The FBI has spied on and sought to persecute everybody, white or black, that tampers with control of the poor people. Whether you're communist, socialist, whether you have an idea that could stimulate the masses with truth, the FBI pounces on you. In the same year that the FBI was established, the Anti-Defamation League was established. The Anti-Defamation League has been used to cover up and to fight against anybody that is not necessarily anti-Semitic, but anybody who will expose those Jews who have been at the root of the control of the banking system, 